keep your business working capital liquid, safe, earning tax free rates of return. In this educational episode, I'm going to address where should a business owner deposit retained earnings or positive cash flow. Get ready, I'm gonna blow you away with probably the best repository you could ever come up with to be able to hold your cash that you are needing, maybe you don't need it, but in case you do need it, for your business. So I'm Doug Andrew. I've been a financial strategist and a retirement planning specialist now for nearly five decades. And I've been helping a lot of business owners as well as uh, just individuals uh, accumulate money tax-free for their future and then be able to turn on tax-free income or access money income tax-free uh, for any goal, but especially a business owner so that you can operate your business and access your own money, become your own banker, okay? And uh, I've been helping people do this now for uh, nearly five decades. And a lot of business owners, they come to our educational seminars and sometimes they've had a hard time separating uh, the strategies where they sock away money personally for their future, their retirement and their business. And they don't understand how they can sort of mesh the two together. And when I teach them about my favorite financial vehicle that I recommend for people to use for retirement that uh, will allow you to have maybe 40%, 60%, even some people prefer to have 100% of their income during retirement, not even show up on the front page of their 1040 tax return. They're ad <laughs> adverse to taxes. They, they do not want to pay any more tax. And so they get the taxes over and done with sooner than later. But I would recommend that 40 to 60% of your income during your retirement come out of what I call the tax-free bucket. Now, there's only a few financial vehicles that allow you to accumulate money tax-free and then be able to access that money tax-free. Uh, one might be a Roth, IRA or 401k. Uh, another might be municipal bonds. Uh, municipal bonds used to be popular now. There's a lot of municipalities that are in trouble. They're filing bankruptcy and uh, they're low yielding. So they're not near as attractive as they used to be. But some people go, well, I, I, I'm thinking about a Roth. And I'm going, well, that's okay. A Roth is a step in the right direction from a traditional IRA or 401k. Why? Because if you think uh, that taxes in the future will be higher, I can prove to you mathematically that a Roth IRA 401k will last longer, uh, generate maybe 50% more income uh, than a traditional IRA or 401k with the same amount of money, the same rate of return if tax rates continue to go up at the current rate. And so unfortunately, most Americans don't realize this. And so 91% of Americans, I think are still duped into putting money into traditional IRAs and 401ks. And this is why I have episodes on this channel about how you can get the money out of those doing a strategic rollout. Well, uh, sometimes people say, well, I'm smart. I, I'm going to use a Roth. Well, a Roth is better than a traditional IRA or 401k in my opinion, uh, but it still has too many strings attached. So I've never owned an IRA or 401k nor a Roth IRA or 401k, and I, I never will because Roths have only two advantages or two benefits. You fund Roths with after-tax dollars, uh, but you access your money tax-free and um, uh, you accumulate money tax-free. And so uh, there are strings attached where you can only put in a certain dollar amount or a certain percent of your income. Well, some business owners have, have way more money uh, to sock away in some banner years uh, than a Roth will allow. And so there's too many strings attached with a Roth. And uh, if you could put in a, a larger sum of money, if you don't, you can't make up for it in the next tax year. I don't like those strings attached, so I use a laser fund, which has actually been grandfathered in the Internal Revenue Code now for uh, over 108 years as of the recording of this episode in the year 2022. And so why would I mess around with a Roth when I have the two benefits of a Roth and, and actually four additional benefits Roths will never have? 
I could design a, a laser fund, which is a max funded index universal life insurance contract, but it has to be structured correctly and funded properly to accommodate uh, the money that you want to sock away for your future or your business working capital, which is this is all about. So <clears throat> if I have a laser fund or a portfolio of them, I can earmark them for long-term goals like retirement, but in the meantime, I can use it as a put and take account for my business. Uh, you can't do that with a, uh, an IRA or 401k or a Roth, because if you touch the money within five years or before you're age 59 and a half, there, there's, there's gonna be a 10% penalty and all those kinds of uh, strings attached. But see, uh, I can access money out of a laser fund. I could put in 300,000 bucks and next month I could pull out 200,000. There's no uh, penalty from the IRS. Uh, no, there's no uh, penalty from the insurance company if I need the money. So this is where a lot of savvy business owners who set up a, a portfolio of indexed universal life insurance contracts and they structure them correctly and fund them properly. And so they pass what I call the laser test Laser is an acronym that I use that stands for liquid assets safely earning returns. So you want to have a working capital account in your business that's liquid, where you can access money when you need it for an emergency or a business opportunity or whatever. Maybe you're going to buy out a competitor or whatever. And so you want a liquid account and you can access money with an electronic funds transfer or a phone call. You want it safe so that when the market or the economy goes down, you don't lose during market downturns. You may not make much of anything, but you don't lose. And as Will Rogers once said, people get more concerned when the market goes south uh, of the return of their money instead of the return on their money. And so uh, my favorite vehicle for long-term goals is a laser fund. But when business owners see this, they, they usually go, hey, wait a minute, Doug. Can I use this for the working capital in my business? And I'm going, you got it. I have done this for years. And frankly, it has saved me many, many times when I've had to dip into my laser funds. Uh, one time I had to do it because of a, a downturn and unforeseen circumstances just to meet payroll. But I was able to do it. I didn't have to go to a bank and, and, and beg to borrow money. Uh, or if I maxed out my line of credit, I don't have to qualify for uh, a loan from the insurance company, the insurance company will always loan me the equivalent of the cash I have in my IUL policy. Now, sometimes people say, well, why don't you just withdraw it? Well, because savvy business owners, they understand how money works. So let's say I have a million dollars in my IUL policy or policies. You can have more than one. And I'm using it for working capital for business. And so I'm, I'm socking away money in there. It grows tax-free. I don't have to pay tax on any of the, the growth that it earns every year. But if I need to access some of that money, there's basically two ways. You could withdraw it. So if I have a million in there and all of a sudden I, I see an opportunity to, to buy out a competitor or to, to, to buy a new plant or a new location or expand my business or hire, whatever, uh, I can go in and just withdraw a million out of my IUL policy, but now it's not there earning any interest. Savvy business owners do what? Uh, they, they call me up and they go, Doug, uh, I need a million dollars out of my IUL policy. I, I ha actually had a business owner client do this in 2017. He uh, saw an opportunity to, to buy a, a, an apartment complex, fix it up and then flip it and make two, three million bucks in about uh, a year. And so he says, uh, you know, email me that form. It's one page. He puts his name and his policy number, which is like an account number, okay? And uh, the insurance company says, oh, do you want to uh, withdraw a million? Or the next box that he might check would be, do you want to borrow a million? Which box do you think he checks? Yeah, borrow, why? Because he can borrow from the insurance company the equivalent of the money he has on deposit there. Well, why would you do that? Well, they're going to charge interest, but that's a good thing. Why? Because when he borrowed a million, he has two choices. He can borrow at what is called zero uh, net cost. He could borrow a million at 2% interest. It's tax-free because loan proceeds are not taxed. Okay? The IRS wants the insurance company to charge a nominal interest rate, so it's not a taxable event. So they'll charge him 2% on a million-dollar loan. That's a pretty good rate. 
but they'll credit him the same 2% on the million dollars that's collateralizing that million dollar loan, the cash that's sitting there. And so he's credited uh, 2%. They charge him two. It's a zero net wash loan. It doesn't cost him anything to borrow his own money. But that's not what most savvy business owners do. They use the laser fund as a working capital account. And in 2017, this business owner, he said, I want to use the index loan. And so back then, the index rate was five. Sometimes some of these are like 4%. But he says, well, I'm, I'm willing for you to charge me 5%. They can't charge him any more than that in that contract. Why would he want to be charged 5% or 50,000 on a million dollar loan when he could have borrowed it for two? It's because if he tells them they can charge him five, they will credit him on his million, whatever the index is performing at. That year, he got credited 25%, okay? He made a quarter of a million in interest tax-free minus the 50,000 of interest. He netted 20% or 200,000 cash, tax-free growth on his million while he was technically using it in his business working capital, okay? We have business owners that do this all the time. So uh, when people say, golly, as a business owner, Doug, uh, where should I keep my retained earnings? Unfortunately, some business owners are so busy running their business, they have uh, several hundred thousand, some have several million dollars accumulating in their checking account. And you look at their average balance for the last year, two, five years, and their average balance is a half a million, a million. I'm going, how many times have you dipped below a half a million bucks? Never. Well, then if I were you, I would, I would put that half a million over into a laser fund and you'll be earning, uh, you know, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten percent or more on that totally tax free. And if you need it, you can access it just as easily, maybe not with a drive-up window, but just as easily with an electronic funds transfer or phone call. And you can uh, access that the smart way and be, continue to earn interest while you're using it in your business. Now, you're, you, you have it sitting in a checking account at the bank. They're not paying you anything. Or if they do pay you something, it's, it's so pathetic. You, the, the, the rate of inflation is eating it all up by far. And so sometimes you just have to rethink your thinking. As a business owner, come on. Take your working capital, take that positive cash flow, and instead of letting it just sit there in some bank or credit union and earning a measly uh, rate less than 1%, increase the liquidity, the safety by probably six notches higher. Most banks are maybe rated triple B by S&P. Most of these insurance companies where I have my money are rated AAA. That's about six notches higher in safety. Uh, this is why banks will take uh, 30 to 40% of their tier one assets and increase the liquidity and the safety by five notches higher. And they earn five times as much. They earn 5% and they're only paying you 1%. On every million, they're earning 50 grand and they only have to pay you 10,000 of that 50 grand. Just bypass the middleman, especially with your working capital. You put it in the, in the insurance company, increase the liquidity, the safety, and the rate of return by maybe five times or more. Is this making sense? So a business owner should rethink their thinking, set up a, a working capital account. I would recommend a portfolio of laser funds. Uh, if you don't have a lot of working capital, just start out with one. You can add more. And then this is how you become your own banker. You access the money when you need it, but you're able to earn a rate of return tax-free that down the road will allow you to have even more money for business opportunities, but even a better retirement. We've helped many business owners accumulate an extra million, two million, five million bucks over their lifetime by using this as their working capital account instead of keeping the business cash in a bank. Does that make sense? Understand how money works and keep it liquid, safe, earning predictable rates of return. And I would recommend totally tax-free. If you want to learn more about this and this laser fund I've been talking about, <clears throat> I want to, to gift you a copy of this most recent best-selling book that's been flying off of our warehouse shelves. Uh, it retails for 20 bucks on Amazon. You don't need to pay that. I want to gift you a copy. So here's how you claim your free copy. Go to laserfund.com, L-A-S-E-R fund.com. Click on the link below. 
and uh, you contribute a nominal amount towards the shipping and handling. Okay, have a little bit of skin in the game and I will pay for the book. I'll fire out a hard copy to you, but there's options there if you would also like to listen and learn or watch and learn. Uh, there's also some online educational events. If you want to talk to an IUL specialist to see how you can set up a laser fund for your business working capital, you can set up an appointment and pick their brain and they'll be happy to uh, give you some illustrations on how it works and help you get on your road to having more liquidity, safety, and rates of return tax-free on your working capital in your business and watch how much more you will be worth down the road.